still in KZN. The blue waters of the Indian Ocean have a tinge of silver today, and it's got KZN locals and tourists in a fishy frenzy. Yes, the annual sardine run has arrived. It's got fishermen all excited to get their share, and game fish, whales, dolphins, and sharks are not going to be left out. They've already been spotted at Umdoni Point and Pennington. Swimming on all south coast beaches has been temporarily banned. ENCA's Dazen Tatia joins us now live from Margate. Uh, Dazen, can you set the scene for us? Tell us what you've seen today. Uh, sometimes it's a, it's a very visible frenzy from the shoreline. Sometimes it's a little bit more uh, subtle. What's it like today? Well, Andy, let me just start here and get this right out of the way. Yes, I am wearing a jersey on the beach, and I promise you it's because it's a lot colder than it looks. But, you know, that cold front, by extension, is exactly what gets these sardines attracted to the waters on the KwaZulu-Natal south coast. That's when they make their way up the coast. They normally come up past places like Margate. The bad news is that... We may have missed them here. That's because they move that quickly. So you'll only ever find them at any particular spot for a short space of time. That's when you get people flocking to those beaches, coming through and trying to net as many as they can. But there is also that other danger that you mentioned. Uh, it's the time when the shark nets are dropped. And uh, to that end, the KZN Sharks Board also does its monitoring of this process. We were with them today during one of those flights that they undertook to take a look at the scenes from the air. So let me now bring in Mr. Harry Mbambo from the KZN Sharks Board. Mr. Mbambo, thanks for, for, for joining me. I was with you when uh, you and the team were, were doing this monitoring from the air. As I was telling my colleague now, it's unfortunate that things are a little bit quiet here. But let's uh, just firstly speak generally about the season so far. Thank you so much, uh, Dustin. Indeed, it, it, it's quite cold in here, uh, I, I, I feel. Um, thank you so much for having come on board with us this morning. We flew from Durban to market. This is where we are uh, right now as we speak. Um, quite, quite interestingly, transport uh, is in the forefront when it comes to this greater shoal on Earth which is a side in run. Uh, we were very fortunate as we were flying here that uh, past uh, the Ilovo river mouth, uh, we, we, we did see some activities there where some of the anglers were actually helping themselves. Uh, they came in trucks, uh, we did see some crates there, uh, and also the general members of the public. This is so significant, especially during this time of the year. Uh, why, why is it significant? It is because we consider it uh, one amongst other attractions uh, that the KZN uh, has as a province. Uh, you, you do get uh, quite a number of uh, uh, tourists. Uh, they, they get fascinated. They come here. Uh, they book themselves to the hotels. They fly themselves themselves down here uh, t just to come and enjoy this excitement. But that's a bit different this year, Mr. Mbambo, because of uh, COVID-19. So, how is that? What a kind of an impact has that had on the sardine run? Also, how are you managing to control those people that are flocking to the beaches? Even though, even though it is very, very difficult because of the, the COVID-19 related regulations. I, I'm talking to you, I'm wearing a mask, you're wearing a mask. You can imagine the, the bathers in front of us here, they aren't wearing masks, but you can't chase them out of the water. The only thing we could do uh, was, to, was by us having some of the, uh, the nets removed out of the water uh, as, as a matter of precaution. Uh, we, do, we, do, we also do have some of the beaches bent uh, between Port Edward and Sipingo. Uh, all of the beaches in the south coast are currently bent. Those are the only uh, precautionary measures we could have at this point in time, uh, Tessen. So it's, uh, it's, it's obviously then quite dangerous to... To, to be around the area in which the sardines are. It is very, very dangerous. Our message to the members of the public, please watch out. There are signboards out there. Do read up, take those precautions where we have our nets removed, uh, where, where we have uh, uh, some of the beaches bent. Don't even try to venture out to, to, to any of those beaches. 
Lifeguards guard, life will be on site as well. Uh, there will be signs, there will be beacons. Uh, uh, where, where people are swimming, uh, you've m mentioned it yourself that uh, the migration has gone past here, then people are allowed. Thank you very much, Thank Mr. You. Harry and Bambo. So, Andy, I'm hoping that, uh, you know, before we do leave the South Coast, we do manage to spot some of these sardines because uh, I'm sure my family and friends will be very disappointed if I make my way back without at least bringing something for them.